What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, Leo, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general oracle card reading for Sign of Leo. This could resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. So if it's the basics, sign is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. This can resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts, but it's very important to only take the messages resonate with rest. Please don't force it if you don't fit. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 12,325 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel, you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 405, uh, PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. Um, it's through my PayPal account. The link's in the description box below. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display how much you donate uh, publicly on my channel uh, for privacy and confidentiality purposes. Just to let everybody know, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. All right, you guys. Well, um, we're going to get started, started, started. Um, I received some downloads. I heard Leo, then I received some downloads. So I'm going to do Leo's next. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, I do, I do, I do. I got three out. Usually I only take two. So we'll do the three. Okay, so um, the channel messages I received was, um, someone's been betraying you behind your back, but you're about to find this out soon. Some intuitively, you already know this. Um, that was the first one. The second one, it was about 45 seconds to a minute after. I heard it really loud. I heard respect, respect. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. I could, I feel, you know, energies can be reversed. So I feel it can go, you need to respect person, people, place, or situation, or someone um, needs to respect you, or they do respect you, or you respect person, people, place, or situation. Um, that's all I heard was respect real big. So I feel it can go those four ways. Either someone needs to respect you, or um, you need to respect, um, Either someone needs to respect you, you need to respect someone, or someone does respect you, or you respect someone. Um, that's the four ways I feel it can go. Um, however, that plugs in, in one's life. And the uh, third one, I heard a surprise home visit soon. So however that plugs in one's life, Leo, uh, energies can be reversed. So it could be you getting a surprise home visit soon from person, people, place, family, or situation, or someone you're connected to getting a surprise home visit soon. However that plugs in in one's life, however that resonates. White Raven Spirit, trust in the magic. Turtle Spirit, slow and steady wins the race. Crow Spirit, crow create with spirit. Um, you can be dealing with, for some of you guys, I feel you're dealing with heavily with an air sign. Um, some cases, two plus air signs, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because you have double air sign energy in here. And for some, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, because uh, the earth sign energy. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, I'm not Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sorry. They could have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or um, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Midheaven, and Jupiter charts. However, that applies in one's life, Leo. I feel, like I said, I feel strongly for a lot of you guys, you're dealing with two plus air signs um, because you have the double air sign energy in here, but only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in your own life, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have a sign of Leo. If you guys think anyone else could benefit from the, my channel or the spiritual messages, uh, please feel free to share my um, channel on your social media and word of mouth. I'd very much appreciate it. It helps support a single mama and two kids income stream, so I very much appreciate it. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Leo. Spirit messages you have, Sonia. A particular air sign for some, for some, a particular water sign is very, very pissed that you are holding back your sexual energy from them. Very pissed. 
For some, they put sex magic on you and the sex magic is backfiring into the universe now. For some, they are having sexual intimacy problems. Oh my Lord. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates, Leo. Oh my God, that's terrible. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my gosh. So for some of you guys, somebody put some sex magic on you. For some, I feel it could be an air sign that puts sex magic on you. For some, it could be a water sign that puts sex magic on you. For some, it could be both. Um, somebody put sex magic on you in the past, and I heard basically they're upset that you are withholding your sexual energy from them. Um, the sex magic, it sounds like has backfired into the universe. For some of them, um, it's in the form of having in intimacy problems. So it sounds like they have partner or partners and or they're dating and there's some kind of intimacy problems there um, in some shape, form, or fashion. How would that resonate? Okay, that's way too many. I got three. It was well, I'll tell you what I got. Wealth, bull, do not, do not, uh, do not buy down from opposition, show strength and fortitude, wealth, and um, gavel, involvement with the law. Spirit messages you have, Salia. For some, you could be emotionally unstable or dealing with someone that's emotionally unstable or have addictions or dealing with someone that has addictions because when the cards come out in excess like that, it can indicate emotional instability um, either in you or somebody you're connected to or addictions either in you or somebody you're connected to. There wasn't a ton of cards that came out though. It was just, it was three, not a ton like some of these readings, but you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have a sign of Leo. Spirit messages you have selling yet. For some, you could be, be being very stubborn or somebody you're connected to could be, be, be being very stubborn because it's taken me forever to get these cards out. I just want to say that too. So you plug it in how it resonates. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to the problem, cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. Broken wishbone, a wish will not be granted. Spirit message to have some Leo. Retreat, uncertainty. Okay, number 66, 62, 17, 38, or 43 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 66, 62, 17, 38, or 43. It could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 66, 62, 17, 38, or 43. Like I said, you could be dealing with double air sign energy or um, a Taurus Capricorn Virgo. Um, you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. White Raven Spirit, trust in the magic. A particular Leo's. Online business for some businesses, 
are doing well and are about to do really, really, really well. Keep putting, keep putting your real, real self out there, real talk. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Well, that's beautiful. So if this resonates for you, Leo. You have, for some, I feel you have one online business. For some, two plus online businesses, because I heard for some business, some businesses. Um, you plug it in however it resonates in your own life. I heard they're doing well, but they're about to start doing really well. So I heard keep putting your real self out there, real talk. So keep speaking the truth on person, people, place, family, situation. Keep being yourself. Keep being real. Keeping it real kind of energy. You plug it in how it resonates. So trust in the magic, I think, is um, for some, I feel it's in the spiritual realm because we have trust in the magic energy. Um, some, I feel your businesses could be in the spiritual realm because I know I have a lot of readers on my channel. Um, or for some, it may not be in the spiritual realm. Um, maybe maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But I feel for some, it is in the spiritual realm. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates, but trusting in the process, trusting in your magic, your personal power, um, what you are putting out to the universe, um, how that resonates. I don't, whoever this is for, if you were in the spiritual realm, I don't feel you were like a secret dark arts, um, dark art spiritualist. I feel you are real light side spiritualist. If you work in the spiritual realm in one of these business or businesses, how that resonates. Turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. A particular Leo has been very patient, very, very, very patient. Really watching themselves and situations in the universe. It's about to pay off in a huge, huge, huge way. Many shocking series of shame events are about to occur. Things are about to speed up for you in a very positive way. There has been... For some, one person, for some, several people slowing you down in the past. Blockages are about to be removed. Significant earth sign energy. For some, air sign energy blocking you. For some, water sign energy blocking you. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So um, if this resonates for you, you've had significant blockages in the past. I'll tell you that. Whoever you are and how this applies. You've had significant blockages. I think into, uh, some of you guys are highly intuitive. I think you know you've had significant blockages. Um, but you have had blockages whether you know you have or not. How that resonates. But uh, for some it's from an earth sign. For some it's from a um, water sign. For some it's from a um, air sign. For some it could be from two plus. Um, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, not Aries, Leo, Sag. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and there's so many rising Venus, North and Midheaven, Jupiter charts, but I heard soon the blockages are going to, be, going to be removed, and it sounds like full speed ahead energy. I didn't hear that, but that's what I'm feeling. Um, for some, it could be in your online business or businesses. For some, it could be in um, 3D workspace. For some, it could be 3D business. Um, however, that applies, but I feel it's in, um, I feel it's in business. Um, cause blocking money energy. I feel it's in business, businesses or workspace energy because we're talking about money here. Um, but I heard soon the blockages are going to be removed and, um, things are about to speed up in a huge way. So I feel like full speed ahead energy, um, how this resonates in one's life. But there has, if you didn't know, there has been people behind the scenes, person or people behind the scenes blocking, intentionally trying to block your money. If you didn't know that, I feel for some of you already knew that. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, mask on or femme. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, mask on or femme. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, mask on or femme. You plug um, these situations of people, person or people in your life, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. But I heard soon the blockage is going to be removed, full speed ahead. So congrats, whoever that's for. Crow spirit, co create with spirit. A particular Leo is really, really in tune with the spiritual realm. Was very uncomfortable at first, but really, really, really getting in tune. Getting in the vibe space. Another one is about to start receiving downloads.
Don't fight it. You're getting these for a reason. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, a lot of spiritual realm energy in here, I'm feeling a lot. So you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys already receives downloads from the universe. Um, I feel you could be a reader or not a reader, how that applies in your life. Um, and one, you're about to start receiving downloads. So however that applies in one's life, whoever you are, Leo. Um, you can have Leo in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Home, and Heaven, and Jupiter charts, how that applies. But one, you already received downloads. I heard you were very uncomfortable at first receiving the downloads, but now you're very comfortable. For some, I feel you could have public platforms if that message uh, applies for you. For some, maybe not. Um, but one, you're, you have not started receiving downloads yet from the spiritual realm, but you're about to. So I don't know if that's clear audience messages, clairvoyant messages, dreamscape of messages, or psychic medium of messages, however that applies in your life, the one that's about to start receiving the messages. Um, however that applies. I heard you're about to start receiving them for a reason. So maybe you create a public platform or maybe you don't. Only you know your story, not anybody else, if that applies for you, um, Leo. Um, I feel for some of you guys, maybe an air, um, you're about to receive these downloads for a reason, the one that's about to receive them. So my ancestors give me downloads to receive, to deliver to the 3D, um, 3D realm from the 5D spiritual realm. Um, every, people's ancestors deliver their messages to them, and that's how us spiritualists deliver them out to the 3D universe, basically. So the one, Leo, that's about to receive the spiritual downloads, I feel your ancestor could be, or ancestors that's about to help you um, deliver these messages to the 3D collective i.e. us in the world, is an air sign or an earth sign. That's what I'm feeling for some of you guys. They, um, that's what I'm feeling. Your ancestors uh, or ancestors that's about to help you, your guides, I feel they could be an air sign or earth sign. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo on the other side of the, um, other, other side of the veil, basically, about to help you deliver these downloads. Now, whether you make a public platform or not, I don't know that's your free will. However, that applies in one's life, Leo. Broken wish. Wish will not be granted. A particular Scorpio was really, 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 really hoping things would go one way, but they are about not to. They are about to go a completely different way. They are about to be shocked. Okay, I heard it um, with you is what I just heard with you. So you plug in and how it resonates. Whoever this Scorpio is and how they apply in your life. I heard a particular Scorpio was really, really hoping that things would go one way with you specifically, Leo. But I heard they're not. Actually, they're going to go a completely different way. So um, however this applies and resonates in your life, Leo, uh, whoever you are, you're dealing heavily with the Scorpion energy. They could have Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hamid, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Scorp um, for you, Leo, it is a Scorpionic energy. So I'm feeling in this aspect, the Scorpio's wish will not be granted because they're really hoping some aspect to do with you would go in their favor with you, regarding you, but it's not. I heard it's going to go a completely different way. Um, so whoever this Scorpio is to you is what I'm trying to say. It could be someone in your past, someone in your present, um, a family member, a lover, a past lover, a neighbor, uh, um, co-worker, former co-worker, a boss, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, whoever they are and how they apply. But I heard it's not going to go the way they wanted it to go. So in this aspect, the Scorpio's wish will not be granted when it regarding you in some shape, form, or fashion. However, um, that applies. Let me see if I hear anything else. A particular Libra has been doing a lot of behind the scenes work. A lot of behind the scenes work with you to other people. However, through series of chain of events, that's about to be cut off. It's about to piss them off in a huge way. 
Oh my Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So some kind of Libra energy too you're dealing with. And this is very, very, very behind the scenes. It could be a masculine or feminine Libra. They could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, and Jupiter charts, however that resonates. But or they've been doing a lot of behind the scenes work. Um, I think talking about you, talking about you behind your back. And it doesn't sound like in a positive sense. It sounds like in a negative sense. But I heard through many series of chain events, that's about to be cut off. So it sounds like people, the people this Libra, masculine or feminine Libra is talking to, they're, they're highly intuitive or about to become highly intuitive. And they're about to realize um, what they're saying is not true um, or um, or something of that nature or however that applies. Um, and I heard the communication is about to be cut off. So their wish will not be granted when it comes to you, um, Leo, however that applies. And in particular, Leo has been working on a particular book right now, but through series of chain of events, you're going to have to put it off for a little while. Okay. And in particular, Leo has been working on a book, but I heard through many series of chain of events, you're going to have to put it off for a little while. So in this aspect, the wish will not be granted is um, maybe you plan to have this whoever that is writing this book i didn't hear what kind of book it was or anything like that but at least one of you guys is writing a book um I, but it sounds like you wanted to complete this book or have it mostly finished i'm presuming within a certain time frame but it sounds like through series of chain of events something's going to happen in your life to where um you're going to have to put it to the side for a little bit um so in this aspect the wish will not be granted will probably uh, i'm presuming you wanted this book completed or mostly completed by a certain time frame, but that's not going to happen because something's going to happen in the universe to make you put it down for a little while. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. A particular Leo's child's father is about to fight you for custody. Some of one child, some of several ch children. You're really going to have to stand up to this person. Oh, my Lord. So you, you, I understand that, you guys. You plug it in, how it resonates. Yikes. So wh whatever, Leo, this is resonating with, you can be masculine or feminine, but it's a child's father, child or children's father. Um, it sounds like you have full custody or you have... Um, rights, um, rights in some shape, form, or fashion, like visitation rights or something. And I heard they're going to fight you for full custody. Um, so it sounds like they're about to take you to the court of law. Um, some for one regarding one child, some regarding two plus children. Um, I heard you're really going to have to stand up against this person. So I think they might know something on you, or they might think they know something on you, or they think they have a good case. Um, but I'm feeling child custody battle energy, energy here upcoming in, in the universe for whoever this is resonating with. So wish will not be granted in this aspect. Um, I'm thinking is you not wanting to go to the court of law and deal with this child's father. Um, in some cases it might be fathers. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, nobody likes to spend tons of money through the legal system fighting with exes. Um, I know I don't, uh, at least. Most people don't. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. A significant false marriage is about to become very significant in a Leo's life soon. However, you're about to be very, very, very protected from this because you didn't even know it occurred. It's actually going to turn out very, 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 very positively for you. So much done behind the scenes. No proper communication. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, when I first looked at these cards, I was like, oh my gosh, because these aren't very great cards, to be honest. Not the, um, some of them are not great cards, and that's just the truth. Um, but 
it's really not too bad. So you plug it in how it resonates, um, however that resonates. But so there's a significant false marriage, significant to at least one of you guys. It sounds like somebody put you in a false marriage in this aspect. It sounds like you did not put somebody in a false marriage. Somebody put you in a false marriage. Um, if this resonates, hopefully just for one of you guys out in the universe. But I heard you're about to be very protected from this, though. Through a series of chain events, you're about to be protected from this because I heard you don't even know about the false marriage. So I'm thinking whoever this is for, you were put in the false marriage, but I heard there was no proper communication there. So whoever put you in the false marriage didn't even tell you they put you in the false marriage, didn't even properly communicate with you and tell you that you're in the false marriage. You don't even know you're in the marriage. So how can you be married to somebody if you don't even know you're in the marriage? And that's just the truth for real, for real. So I heard you're about to be protected from it. Um, and it's about to actually turn out very, very, very positively for you because you didn't even know you were in the false marriage. And that could be the wish not granted to, to the person that put you in the false marriage. For some, it could be that Scorpio. For some, it could be somebody, for some, it could be that Libra. Somebody put somebody in false marriage. Um, but you're about to be protected from it. And that could be the cobweb energy protected from negative forces beyond your control as well. Because you don't even know you're in the damn false marriage. Um, who puts people in false marriages? Nobody. Nobody in correct mental states, I'll tell you that. Um, and that's just the truth. So it sounds like overall it's actually about to turn out well for you in that aspect. If that resonates for you, hopefully just for one person. I mean, anybody puts anybody in false marriage, they should go to prison. Because that's highly criminal and highly illegal. And I'm just being serious about that. There's about to be a significant divorce in a Leo's life, not, not you. No working on this relationship anymore. It's about to shock you. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So there's about to be a significant divorce in a Leo's life. I heard not you. Um, there's no working on this relationship anymore. Um, whoever this person is in your life. It's somebody connected to you. I heard it's not you. Is somebody legally married, um, unsuccessful outcome to a problem in that aspect is somebody else's um, somebody else's marriage. I heard it's not your marriage. It's somebody else's marriage, but it sounds like there's just, I don't care how much marriage counseling these people have or have had. If they have had marriage counseling, I didn't hear that they did, but it just sounds like they're not compatible. Um, I heard you're about to find out about this soon. I heard you're going to be shocked. So there's just... It's an unsuccessful outcome to a, to the marriage, basically. Um, it's like irreconcilable differences is what I'm feeling. It's not you. It's somebody you're connected to. If this resonates for you, um, their marriage, if that resonates. They're legally married. Cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control. A particular Aquarius is about to get a huge fire lit under their ass soon. About to go hard for you. You're not even going to know this at first. You will learn about this though. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I heard a, some kind of Aquarian energy is about to I heard go hard for you soon. You're not going to know about this at first, but... Um, you will learn about it down the line is what it sounds like. So I think this Aquarius, whoever this Aquarius is, they could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Ben, Hamner, Jupiter, Charts, Masculine, or Ben, Aquarius. Um, I think they're about to protect you from negative forces beyond your control, or they're about to stand up for you in a situation. Um, some kind of situation is what I'm feeling. Whoever this Aquarius is. Um. That's what I'm feeling. I think they know something that's going on that you were involved with. For some, it could be that false marriage. For some, it could be something else. Um, but they know something um, and they're about to are start going hard soon. So, I mean, they are about to, it's, they're about to defend you behind your back. And anybody that defends you behind your back, that says something. When somebody defends you behind your back, that says something. That says something about um, how they feel about you. 
And I'm serious about that. Um, you, It's easy to talk smack about somebody behind their back all day long. But when they defend you behind your back, that really shows integrity, morals, values, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it shows they truly do respect you and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I heard you are not going to learn about it at first when they first do this. <laughs> Excuse me. It doesn't sound like um, they've done it yet, but they're about to. Um, I heard you're not going to learn about it. It sounds like when they do it at first, but you will learn about it. For one of these situations, it involves the Supreme Court. Holy shit. Whoa. And this Aquarius is going to be very successful. Very, very, very successful. Know this. Oh, my God. I heard one of these situations that involves a freaking Supreme Court. Dear Jesus Almighty. So you plug it in how it resonates. One of these situations. It, okay, so it's two plus of these situations in the universe. But for one of you Leos, it involves the Supreme freaking Court. The Supreme Court. Um, that's no joking around in the Supreme Court. And that, I mean, that's not joking around any court of law, but especially damn Supreme Court. I'm, I mean, I'm just being real. Um, uh, wow. Uh, I heard you're not going to find out about it when it happens, but you will find out about it. Um, I'm assuming the Aquarius is going to tell you or somebody else is going to tell you, or if it's the Supreme Court, it might be on the damn news. I, I can't imagine how it's not going to be. I'm serious. Wow. So, Something has happened. Um, for some, this Aquarius could be your lawyer, possibly, or a lawyer, um, or a judge. Oh, well, I, no, a lawyer is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking a lawyer. Um, wow, dear God Almighty. But something has happened in the past to make them um, go hard for you, uh, whether it is Supreme Court energy or not. For one, it is Supreme Court energy. For one, it is not. For the one where Supreme Court energy, I think it's that false ass marriage. And I'm serious about that. And for some, I feel Scorpio could have put you in it, possibly. Um, only um, these people know their story that has done, or a Libra, because we have Libra and Scorpionic energy. Um, it is not going to turn out well for those people, know this. Not at all. Mental instability. Oh, my Lord. I heard it's not going to turn out well for those people at all, uh, at all, mental instability. So, yeah, wow. Um, I think somebody, I think one of you Leo's lawyers is about to fight hard for you in the Supreme Court, is what I think. I'm serious. Or somebody. I mean, whoever this is, it's involving the Supreme Court. That's strong. Man. And if you're not involved in the Supreme Court ish, um, si um, situation, is some other kind of Aquarius that is fighting for you behind your back, basically. They're fighting for you behind your back. You don't know it, but you're about to find it out, basically. Holy crap. Retreat. A Leo is about to take a well-deserved vacation soon. Some soon within the next week, some within the next month. Some with someone, some by themselves. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. That's beautiful. So whoever the, um, it's for several of you guys, that this resonates for you. Some of you guys, I heard you're about to take a vacation soon. Some within the next week, some within the next month. Some with someone, some with some by yourself. So retreat in this aspect is vacation energy. Um, vacation energy. I'm feeling like if you work in the 3D workspace, I'm feeling PTO energy, vacation time energy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, well deserved. I heard it was well deserved. So some of you guys, it sounds like you're going within the next week, some within the next month. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Well deserved vacation energy. Um for some, if you don't work in the 3D, it could just be you if you are, because uh, we have a, we have business owners in here. So it could just be you blocking out time to take some vacation time um, if you don't work in the 3D. 
however that re uh, resonates for you. But definite vacation energy. I heard some within the next week, some within the next month. Uh, vacation energy. Retreat, vacation. Taking some self-care time. Uh, okay, yeah. A particular cabin is about to become very significant in a Leo's life within the next month with another person. Significant series of chain events will occur in this cabin very positively. Whoa, I um I kind of feel some ba ba boom energy here. Um, I didn't hear that, but I'm feeling some ba ba boom vibes, and I'm just being frail. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, you guys, okay, Leo. <laughs> um, okay, so um, some kind of significant cabin energy. Uh, if this message applies for you, maybe, um, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. I heard within the next month. So it's a cabin. It's like, it sounds like going, retreating to a cabin. Vacation to a cabin is what I'm feeling. Um, I don't know if this is a rental, a vacation home, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But some kind of you and another person is significant with series positive series of chain events that's going to be created between you and this other person in this cabin in this retreat to this cabin i don't know if you're inviting this person to this cabin or they are inviting you but i heard it within the next month so whether you're inviting this person to this cabin or they are inviting you retreat in this aspect is retreating to this cabin it is you and another person I'm being for real. I feel bye bye boom energy. I didn't hear that, but I am feeling that. If it's not bye bye boom s type energy, it could just it could be business collaboration. It could be business collaboration for some. It could be um, meeting of the minds energy for some. Um, however, that resonates. But some kind of positive series of chain of events are going to occur, whether it's romantical, a bye bye boom s type energy, um, or business collaboration or meeting of the minds or etc 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 how that resonates but it's you and one other person i didn't hear a sign on the other person um it sounds like just you two will be retreating to this cabin whether you're inviting them or they're inviting you uncertainty A particular earth sign has really, really, really been talking shit behind your back. Very, very badly. For some, a family member. For some, in your workspace. They know they have. However, through many series of chain of events, it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Heavy earth sign energy in here. You have heavy air sign, earth sign energy, and that scorpionic energy. Uh, and Aquarius. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. But some kind of earth sign energy for some in your family, I heard. For some in your workspace. has really They've been talking some shit about you, basically. They've been talking some shit about you. Um, and I heard they know they have. They know they've been talking shit about you. Uh, but whoever you are, I think this earth sign either has figured out you're intuitive or they already knew you're intuitive. Um, but I think it makes them uncertain and uneasy because they know they've been talking the shit about you. Uh, I think for some, they know they, they know that, you know, you, uh, they've been talking shit about you. That's exactly what I think. Um, I heard through many series of chain events, it's about to seriously backfire on them. So uncertainty, I think this is uneasy energy of this earth sign because they know what they have been doing to you. They know what they've been saying about you behind your back. And I think for some of them, they know you know. And it makes them uncertain, uneasy, because they know the shit's talking. They've been talking about you. So that's what I think. I heard through many series of chain of events, it's about to seriously backfire on their ass. So whoever this person is and however they apply in your life, for some, they're in your family. For some, they are in your physical 3D workspace. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, short moon, and Henry, Jupiter, charts. Whoever this earth sign is and however they apply in your life, whether they are a family member of yours or in your workspace energy. And I'm feeling 3D workspace energy or business workspace energy online because we have some of that in here too. So however that applies in one's life, Leo. They can have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or family, Henry, Jupiter charts. Let me see if I hear anything else.
A particular earth sign is about to lose their home soon. One Leo is about to find this out soon. Severe money issues here. Severe. Oh, Lord. Um, I heard uh, an earth sign is about to lose their home soon. Um, one of you guys is about to find this out soon. Um, severe money issues here. So this one of you Leos has an uh, earth sign in your life in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's that family member has been talking shit about you behind your back, that co-worker has been talking shit about you behind your back, or somebody else in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, they, they, I think I'm feeling like severe debt energy, like severe debt energy and like severe mismanagement of money energy, um, like bad. So much so I feel, I heard they're about to lose their home. So I think they're, I think they're in foreclosure if they have bought this home. If they're renting it, I feel they're behind on their rent. Um, however that resonates, um, that might be how it backfires on some of these earth signs that's been talking shit about you. Maybe they're in severe um, debt, severe, maybe they're in foreclosure, maybe they're behind on their rent, maybe they get evicted. I mean, however that applies. Um, but uncertainty in this aspect is not um, you, it's them about to lose their home. Uncertain of where they're going to live is what I'm feeling. But I feel for some of these earth signs, they're the same ones that have been talking shit about you behind your back. Um, for some, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme, and or Jupiter charts. However, that resonates. Wow. New appliances coming for some, for some, a new vehicle. For some, a very, 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 very large passion fusion. Through many series of chain of events. Okay, so for some of you guys, new appliances in your home, I heard, coming. For some, a new vehicle. And for some, a very, 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 very large cash infusion through many uh, shocking series of chain events. So that could be the uncertainty too. Maybe you didn't think you were going to get these appliances um, in your home. I'm feeling new appliances or new to you appliances. Maybe you got them off Craigslist. Maybe you bought them new. I'm not sure. But I think you were uncertain in the past if you could get these appliances. But it sounds like soon you're about to get them. Um, congrats, whoever that's for, whatever appliances they are. It could be a stove, a dishwasher, a washer dryer, um, what have you, but some kind of appliance energy. It could be a mixer. It could be a um, blender, whatever it is. Um, for some, a new vehicle. So I think you were uncertain in the past if you could get the vehicle, but it sounds like you're going to about to be able to do so, either for you or somebody you're connected to. Um, and for some, this very, very, very large cash infusion um, through shocking series of chain events. I think you were uncertain if you, um, I think you thought you were, I think you were uncertain if you were going to get this cash, very, 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 very large cash infusion. But it sounds like it's about to happen through series of chain events that are about to be created in the universe. However, that applies in one's life. And that could be the protected from negative forces beyond your control as well, possibly for some. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. All right, well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.